As soon as like Rob handed me the board, my heart's like beep, 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 beep. I'm like, oh no, don't mess this up. And then you like work backwards. You're like, okay, just catch the wave. And so you, I got on the board, I'm like, ooh, this feels good. It's got some paddle power and mm -hmm. it flowed nicely and paddled and stood up. I was like, okay, we checked that off the list. We got to my feet, Rob's still holding the camera. Hopefully there's no water in at this point. <laughs> and then I, I just tried to like feel the board out. And I noticed like after the first pump, I was like, oh, this board feels really good. Like, cause you think with the twin fin, it would feel right. kind of fishy, but you, it's much longer arc. Like when you, when you ride, I guess when you, when you turn the board, it's, it's not as squirrely as a fish. Mm -hmm. You can draw much longer turns. Yeah. And it's, it was really fast. So I felt like after like my first or second bottom turn, I was, I had a natural feeling for how the board felt. And I've like, I've ridden a bunch of twin fins and like, like keel fin fishes and like the seaside is a quad, but I really like more of like a thumb tail on my shorter boards, which is like what's on the glazer. Right. So it's almost like a combination between having like the larger keel of a, of a twin fin fish, yeah. but with a more stretched out, I don't know, egg yeah. or, or mid length, yeah. however, however yeah. you want to call it. Yeah, absolutely. You kind of have a good, good idea after me riding it all day, like giving it to you and like, okay, let's see how Todd translates this into his surfing and watching you kind of like use the beginning part of the wave to kind of like find like a flow and a rhythm and then, you know, getting a couple turns in and then just slotting it 